Okay, now we're back. We're going to do a polarization experiment. I have a light source here. And I have a light sensor, again, connected to my GLX Explorer. And I have it, again, connected to the computer with Data Studio. So now if I press Start, you could see here that the sensor is showing me the ambient light. It's very, very low. And the units are in light intensity, or otherwise known as lux. If I turn on the light source, adjust its positioning here. So you see that it's now measuring at about, if I zoom in, it's measuring at about a thousand, almost 1100 lux, 1100 lux at this distance. So my question is, what's going to happen if I put a polarizer? Okay. If I put a polarizer, it went down from roughly 1100 uh, to about 700. So that's almost a half, but not quite a half. Uh, so the polarizer is now taking unpolarized light that's coming from the light bulb and allowing only certain electric fields to go through it. Now, as you can see here, I have indicated the polarization angle of the polarizer. I have drawn a line here and hit line. So that means the polarizer is only allowing light that is vertically polarized. Now, if I rotate this way, it's going to allow horizontally polarized light. So at only uh, about 60-70% uh, of the light is getting through that. Now, what happens if I rotate if I rotate this, any changes? Right now it's still at about 700. If I rotate it, rotate it, rotate it, slight variations you see, but not significant. So whether I allow horizontal electric fields or vertical, it's not, it doesn't matter. A certain percentage of the light gets through. If I take it out, it goes back to the original 1100. Okay, now let's put another polarizer. Okay, right now I have that one set back to vertical. So it's now back to the 700 uh, lux here. Now this one also has vertical, vertical. So if I put vertical, let's see what happens now. Okay. They're both vertical. So now this one allows part of the light to go through also, but they're both vertical. So it went down from roughly about 700 to about 550. We'll zoom in here. So right now it's about 550. Both of them are vertically polarized. Okay. So if I rotate the first one here, all that matters is the angle between them. If I rotate, 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 what should happen? They're both vertically polarized. So it should now, if their polarization angle is different, the intensity should drop. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, significant drop. All the way down to 450. All the way down, even more than 450. Right now, they're at 90 degree. Now, they're not perfect polarizers because the light is still getting through. But uh, it's only from, it goes down from 550 to about, four, about 430 right now. That's what it's at. So it's able to, uh, if we zoom out again, it continues here. It's about 430. Now, if I keep rotating, it should start going back up, as you see here. It's now it's going to go back up, go back up, go back up, go back up, go back to the 550. Now their angle is back to, we could say it's, uh, it's at 180, which is the same thing as saying zero. They're, they're both vertical now. So you, in this situation, you either have zero or you have 90. You don't really have 180 because 180 is the same thing as zero. So that now they're both vertical polarizers. Now, if you come here and see through here, you'll see this effect also. I'm going to take out the 
light sensor, this is they're both vertically polarized. If I take one of them off, it should be a little bit brighter. That's like the 550 versus the 700. And if I put this back on and start rotating to where it's not 90 anymore, you can see, now if I go all the way to 90, all the way to 90, right here. Right here is about the dimmest. Okay, you can see now this is pretty good polarized. This is where the intensity of the light was uh, uh, 430. So it was, uh, it was less than, remember the original light when I had when I had only the light source, it was about seven. Uh, it was about 1,100. Then we put this one. It was uh, 700. Then we put another one, and we made their angle uh, 90. It went down to 430. So from the original light source, we are now one third. It's uh, roughly about one third because it was 1,100, and it went down to about 400. So. The two polarizers at 90 degrees is cutting the light very, very well. And as you saw in the video, it was very dim. So this now illustrates how polarizers work and their relationship to sunglasses and other things that use polarizers. Thank you.